We're taking a look at the UV duct fixture from Light Progress, and we're going to cover installation best practices and assembly for this fixture. We've also installed a couple of these UV duct fixtures in our corporate headquarters building as a way to improve indoor air quality and be able to walk through some of the installation best practices. The UV duct fixture comes disassembled. There are two uh, stainless steel light cages that protect the UVC lamps. There's the fixture casing itself. There's gasket material that we'll use on the back of the unit. Uh, and then of course you'll bring in power on the side of the unit uh, to power this up. The lamps are also included with the UV duct fixture, so everything you need to get this operational is included when you order the fixture. The first step for installing the UV duct fixture in your application is assembling the fixture, and that involves attaching the two stainless steel light cages to the back of the unit. The next step is installing the gasket material on the back of the unit. Now this is helpful to ensure that you get a nice tight seal between the UV duct fixture and the outside of the ductwork. Included with the UV duct fixture is a paper template that will help you to determine where you need to cut holes on the outside of the ductwork. This unit is actually mounted on the outside of the ductwork, which makes uh, maintenance and assembly easier down the road. So you'll want to make sure that you plan out where this fixture is going to be installed, use that template, and then you can screw the UV duct fixture to the outside of the ductwork as the install is going. When it comes to specifying the UV duct fixture for your HVAC application, there are some important considerations. The first is the dimensions of your ductwork, and the reason we need that is we need to make sure that there's enough room for these UVC lamps to fit inside the ductwork. The CFM rating for your HVAC system is also an important consideration when we're specifying the UV duct fixture. The size of the ductwork paired with the CFM rating tells us how fast and how much of the air is moving through the ductwork at any given time, and we need that information to determine how much of a UVC dose you need to adequately disinfect the air as it's moving through that space. In some cases, depending on the CFM rating and the size of your ductwork, it may make sense to install more than one UV duct fixture for your HVAC system. The reason for this is we want to treat and disinfect all of the air with the full UVC dose before any of the air branches off on any of the other supply registers. Another important consideration for where to install this is how accessible power is to this unit. And it's really nice if you can install this where you have easy access to maintain the unit from a typical ladder rather than having to bring in a lift or some other special equipment to maintain the fixture. One question that tends to come up with installing the UV duct fixture is whether or not the power needs to come from the HVAC unit or if we can provide constant power from another source. We recommend installing the UV duct fixture with constant power from a source that's close to the ductwork where you'll be installing this. One other consideration for installing this fixture is it's designed to be installed on a flat surface. So if you have round ductwork in your facility, you may want to talk to your HVAC technician about the best place or any adaptations that may need to be made uh, when you're installing this fixture. Once you've determined where you're going to install the UV duct fixture, you can start running power. Now this unit runs on 120 to 277 volt and will automatically adjust. And one of the best practices for this is to install a switch between the power supply and this unit. The reason installing a switch is important with the UV duct fixture is if a single lamp fails and you need to replace one of the two lamps, it's very important to be able to de-energize the unit. If the unit is open and we're replacing a lamp, there is a chance that if you don't have the power cut off, that a lamp could energize before you intend, or that one of the lamps may be operational and someone could be exposed to that harmful UVC energy. So the kill switch or having a switch on the outside of the unit is a really important safety measure. Once we've run power and we have our switch in place, we can mount the UVC duct fixture to the outside of the ductwork. Once power is run to the unit, we can go ahead and install the two UVC lamps. From there, we'll replace the cover and the fixture is ready to be powered up. 
and we'll make sure that we see the two green LED indicators on the outside to make sure that the unit is operational. The maintenance is also very straightforward for the UV duct fixture. If we need to replace a lamp or do any other maintenance work, there are two screws on the outside of the cover, and then the cover swings open and we can replace the lamps or do any other maintenance work that might be necessary. If you have questions about specifying the UV duct system for your HVAC application, our team is here to help to ensure that you get the right specification and that you can have that indoor air quality improvement that you're looking for. Mm -hmm.